Hi, everybody, and welcome to week three. Week three, that's right. We are three weeks in to our online Bible study of Because of Bethlehem. I'm Melissa Taylor, joined here with Kendra Schwarz. Hey, y'all. And Max Lucado. Hello, Merry uh, Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> yes. Not only the author of Because of Bethlehem, but he's also... Our friend. He's our friend. Yes, yes, absolutely. Okay, so I'm really excited to hear what Max has to share with us this week. Mm -hmm. And so I just kind of want to dive right in because you guys, this week has some good stuff. It does have some good stuff. And I know, Max, you're going to share a story here in a second that we'll read about in your book. But the Christmas season, hustle and bustle. People are going around, they're shopping, they're hanging right. Christmas ornaments, all the lights, Lots some lights go out. There's yes. so much to do. Right. And so how do we not miss out on Christ this Christmas and the goodness of God amidst Boy, it's easy to, all. yeah, it's so crazy. It's so crazy. I remember one, one uh, Christmas Eve, I was, uh, I went to the shopping uh, mall to uh -huh. To get, I, I don't. I'm not the greatest shopper for one thing, and I and I tend to procrastinate, and uh, and so I, I hurried to the uh, Christmas uh, to the shopping mall on Christmas Eve, just before our Christmas Eve service, mm -hmm. to find a gift for my wife. That's terrible. Nothing like last it? minute. Nothing <laughs> like, like last it. minute. And uh, and I remember I w there was no place to park. I mean, it was worse for me than it was for Joseph and Mary. At that point. <laughs> I'm there sure. was no place to park. <laughs> And uh, just as I was uh, about to just give up because I was really running tight on, on time, I saw somebody pull out mm -hmm. and I hurried over to get that place. And somebody came from the other way and pulled in and snagged no. that place. I almost said something. This is <laughs> this is another time I almost lost. I know we're going to talk about it, but another time. But this, <laughs> I, I lowered the window and I, I was about to say something to this lady who grabbed that place. And she said, oh, pastor. <gasps> I'm looking forward to tonight's Christmas no. Eve service. And you were like, I was like, oh yeah, I'm really, in, this, I'm really in the <laughs> Christmas spirit right now. You know, <laughs> it's funny. just, it, it's a, it's a tough time. Right. It's a it tough really time. Is. Yeah. Yeah. It's the hustle and bustle. So what I encourage people to do is, is just don't let it, you know, don't let it suck you down. You know, right. don't let it pull you in. Uh, take, take some deliberate intentional steps mm -hmm. this Christmas. Uh, you know, I like to make a playlist of just Christmas mm -hmm. hymns. Mm -hmm. uh, I love Christmas songs, but boy, away in the manger, silent night, old little town of Bethlehem. Now, these songs are not only beautiful, they, they're, they're, they're still listened to for a reason. Yeah. Right. Oh, holy night. Right. Uh, there's a reason we still mm -hmm. listen to these songs. Mm -hmm. And that is they are thick with theology and yeah. beautiful truth. And, uh, and, and so do something, make a playlist of Christmas hymns, make it your aim to read a few minutes every day, uh, find a church in your community that's celebrating Advent mm -hmm. and celebrate Advent with them each week. Do something. Uh, don't let the, don't let this Christmas pass you by right. without realizing the significance of it. That's good. And we have a playlist that we have curated mm -hmm. for anybody who's doing the study. You can find right. it on Spotify. I think that's right. a good option. Yep. Yep. And you mentioned Advent and you and your team came up with a wonderful Advent devotional in the back of your Because of Bethlehem book. Yes. So that's also right. a good option yep. as one well. One of my favorites. Yes, yes. exactly. Yes. And the playlist that we have, it has one of my very favorite Christmas songs. What is it? Mary, Did You Know? That's a good you one. You cannot listen to that. Like it brings a tear to my eye every single time I listen to it because I'm just overcome with did this, not only was she a teenager, she was a young teenager. She was barely a teenager yeah. and um, has this baby. But did she really grasp that that baby was going to walk on water, that that baby was going to save mm. the world? I don't know how she could have. It's no, just amazing. It's a beautiful yeah. song. Yes. It is. Okay, so we're about to start week three. But before right. we do, Max, you have a funny story, which we'll read about in your book. But we would love for you to tell us. I, I feel like this is true confessions. Oh, we love that. <laughs> I, because I, I confessed about nearly losing it with the lady in the parking lot. And then there was another occasion. Uh, I was I was actually visiting my in-laws over Thanksgiving holidays just a few years ago. Uh, and uh, on Friday after Thanksgiving, isn't that kind of, what do we call that? Black Friday. Black Friday. Mm -hmm. I think we call it that and for a reason. And the busiest shopping you know, day of the year. There's, yes. a, oh. there's a somberness, just serious <laughs> shoppers, Very right? Very serious. Right. I'm never going to leave my house on Black Friday again. <laughs> yeah. The traffic was horrible. And so these, these, uh, 
these these kids, teenagers, in this little low riding loud car that needed a muffler almost <laughs> hit me uh, when they made a U turn in traffic, and so uh, I, I kind of accelerated to mm. catch up with them. <laughs> And, uh, and it was a beautiful day, and everybody's windows were down. I probably would have been all right if it had been a cold day and everybody's windows were up. But it was a beautiful day. Everybody had their windows down. And I come to a stoplight, and there's this kid in the passenger side of that car that nearly hit me. And he's got his baseball hat pulled down sideways, hair's going everywhere. And I looked down at him, and I said, you guys need to, to be careful when you're driving. Well, he gave me a one-finger wave. Uh-oh. <laughs> Right no, there. The no. lot's still red, right? <laughs> oh, no. And boy, I'm not having good thoughts right now. <laughs> Something's welling uh, up inside you. And uh, I said, son, you need to watch that wave like that. You, you know, here yeah, I'm in my car, look, literally <laughs> looking know. down on him because I'm in a SUV and he's in a low riding car. And I said, son, you need to watch that wave. And he looked up at me and he gave me a smirk and he said, make me. <sighs> oh. I I'm 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 almost on Medicare, right? I'm I'm a I'm an old pastor, and here this kid says, "Make me." And nobody said that to me since middle school. I was going to say it's a very right? middle school thing. Yeah, yeah. you know, I, and Your so were up. I, me. all the angels in heaven were saying, "Locato, just." Just go. Keep thing. driving. I mean, just put your window up. The saints in heaven are saying, "Locato, ignore him," but I just had this anger coming mm-hmm. up inside me, and I said. I looked at him. The light still hasn't changed. I said, all right. No. Where do you want to go? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I would have been in Is that not that the moment. craziest yeah. thing? But isn't that the last thing? And when you read a Max Lucado book, <laughs> do you really envision this happening? You do not. <laughs> but you know, that's that, what makes it, Nothing happened, by right. the way. Oh, that's although, good. Although, although, that's although good. yeah, he, 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 he's, I, I said, where scared. do you want to go? And he said, I don't know. And I said, well, okay, follow me. And, and it, it, they took off, and I took off. And I'm so glad they did. But, you know, the, the, the fact of the matter is uh, there is something inside of us that's inside of us yeah. that God came to change. And it's always there. Right. It's always there. Now, I, I believe that the reason Jesus came to the earth is because there is an inclination in each of us to do what we don't want to do. It's yeah. just there. Mm-hmm. Right. So when, when a person becomes a Christian, uh, God saves them. He saves them. He saves us from ourselves. He saves us from ourselves. He doesn't just save us from society or from uh, challenges. He saves us from that inside of us, mm-hmm. that bent deep within us. Uh, and he secures us. He secures us. For those Christians who say, you know, I must not be a Christian because I still lose my temper. Mm-hmm. I say hogwash. You know, the fact of <laughs> the matter is we're still, that's a theological phrase. I like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the fact <laughs> of the matter is we still struggle. We're still challenged. We still have temptations. The present of tem- presence of temptation is not an indication that you're not saved. Mm-hmm. It's an indication that God's not finished with you. Yet. Right. Okay. Yeah. So we're saved. We, we, our names have been written in the book of life. Mm-hmm. But he's going to keep us here on this earth in his mm-hmm. university as he shapes us daily okay. into his image. Here's what I would say. It's not that we will become sinless, but we will sin less. less. We will sin less. And those moments in which we say, make me, <laughs> <laughs> or, or which we hear somebody say, make me, uh, and, and we react wrongly, right. uh, those are going to diminish right. over time, right. diminish over time. And I think what makes heaven so heavenly is that all of that curse, all of the consequences right. of that curse, that right. rebellion, that's going to be gone. But I just want to thank you for not just like sharing the word of God and why Jesus came, but actually sharing real moments like that in your life. Because I've got so many. <laughs> well, it helps us feel a little bit better about ourselves. You, you so, don't know. Thank you. You don't need to know all my stuff. <laughs> That's great. We'd like to. We do, yeah. You should add a bonus video or Ooh. something. Tabloid. <laughs> oh, yes. yeah. That's good. That'd be really the good. OBS tabloid. <laughs> I think we're yeah. on to something. That's great. All right, everybody. So we are headed into week three. We are headed into week three. And so again, if you're joining us on social and maybe you just stumbled upon this video, yeah. it really, you can like just go to Proverbs31.org slash study. You can join in. We're halfway through the study, but honestly, you guys, Because of Bethlehem is a book worth picking up, yeah. even if you're not following along in the study. And so for those of us who are, I know you guys are ready to get into week three. Enjoy it. And remember this, God's word is the truth. 
And when you know the truth and live the truth, it, it changes, changes everything. everything. Everybody have a great week. Bye.